Hello, this is Old Bit Collector with PropellerPower.com, and what you're looking at is a pocket mini computer. The pocket mini computer is a little uh, parallax propeller mini computer kit that you can get from PropellerPower.com, and I want to show you my latest project with this. Um, now I'm going to take you around the room here and try not to shake the camera too much here. I'll try to hold it steady, but as I back up here, um, my pocket computer is uh, has a buddy with a remote and this is a PC that the pocket computer well it's in charge of this PC because this PC is part of my new internet based entertainment center and uh, you know there's a lot of people who are switching to uh, internet based uh, video sources like Netflix or Crackle or Hulu and I thought that it would be really nice and about time that I replaced my old uh, Netflix Blu-ray player that's going horribly out of date uh, because it won't get updates with a full computer system but I really couldn't find a good control system that would allow me to control the computer and surf all these sites and go to all these videos from my remote. So this is where the pocket computer comes in. Now, this project could actually be done with any of your favorite microcontrollers. Um, I've shared all of the information for the serial uh, protocols that are being used to talk to the PC. So if you've got a different propeller board you'd like to use, or maybe your Arduino board, or a pickaxe board, those are all probably compatible with this project. So let me show you how it works. I'm going to grab this remote, and we're going to use the little IR kit that's plugged into my pocket computer to receive the data from the remote and I've got a little basic program running over here this is the monitoring screen plugged into the pocket computer and the pocket computer is going to take charge of this PC so right now I've got my Chrome web browser on and I've got the projector shining it up on the screen and I'm just gonna press the number 2 on the remote and now I'm on Crackle. So if I wanna watch a video, I could do that by just pushing another button on the remote. The remote becomes a mouse. I'm using some arrow keys on the remote and I've got a button mapped out here that'll allow me to surf the site uh, from my remote control. But let's see, I don't wanna do Crackle. Let's go to a different website. Let's try, uh, let's try a couple more here. I'm gonna to go to number three. As soon as I get in the right mode, there we go. Some of these are faster than others. There's Hulu. You'd be surprised just how much free content is available out there on the web. So if you've got a connected PC, um, there's all kinds of content and shows. I was really shocked by just what you really don't have to pay a cable company for anymore. So if you're looking to, uh, to save a few dollars, you might be able to use a project like this one to uh, cut the cable cord. So this is CBS.com, and uh, their video is a little slower here. Let me flip over to mouse mode. So as this starts to play, I can go to full screen. There we go, video from uh, CBS.com. Now I'm on kind of a slow internet connection here in my office, so it's going to start and stop a little bit, and that's kind of expected in here. Some of these services work better than others, so we'll just kind of let that sit for a minute. But uh, what I want to show you is over here now, I've got a monitor plugged into the pocket computer, a VGA monitor and uh, not a very good VGA monitor as you can see here and while this is not required for the project what I can do is this monitors when I change mode so if I go over to keyboard mode or I stop the program or I go to page mode this gives me a little debugging screen while I'm setting it up so that uh, I can make sure all the proper URLs that are treating the remote properly etc so let me list this program pocket computer programs in uh, in basic got a little program called color basic here and you can actually see the little commands that are on here it's reading for some IO codes those are the if a equals and numbers 
for the I.O. codes that are detected. And then uh, toward the bottom of the program, you see here all the websites that I have this pointed to, to go to Netflix or Crackle or CBS, ABC, Fox. Um, I've even got this thing programmed to go to my Weather Channel page uh, in my area. So if you've ever thought about maybe cutting the cord on cable, uh, or maybe you're looking for a way for your microcontroller to sort of uh, take charge of the PC, uh, there is some accessibility software that uh, basically I can do anything from my microcontroller, from my pocket computer, to this PC as if I were sitting at the mouse and keyboard. Uh, I can send control sequences, uh, alt control sequences, raw data, numbers, function keys, mouse positions, mouse movements. Uh, it's all in the Instructable uh, that's posted with this video. So check it out. Give me a shout over at forums.propellerpower.com. And uh, hey, if you haven't gotten your pocket mini computer, now's the time. See you online.